Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm currently cleaning out filters from the dishwasher. Oh, so since we've been in this lockdown, obviously we've been, I, right in the beginning, a good nine weeks ago, I would say, we went to Costco. You might have seen the video. And just, you know, stocked up on the basics. We usually get like fairy dishwasher tablets, the platinum ones. Absolutely love those and have never looked back since I switched. But we've obviously run out. And um, I actually had some backup finish ones, which I had from previously using the fairy ones, but just hated them and just never felt they really cleaned everything in the dishwasher. So I've been using the finish ones for a couple of days, like literally only a couple of days, but already you start bringing stuff out of the dishwasher, like dirty, a bit grimy. I'm cleaning the filter like every day. For some reason it just doesn't clean everything. I'm wondering whether to put like two dishwasher tablets in, maybe like one in the little compartment and then one like on one of the racks or something. I don't know. For some reason they just don't clean everything that well. So um, yeah, starting my Monday morning off. Nearly quarter past six re-washing things. That's what I'm doing at the moment. It's kind of annoying. Miles is, can you see his little head? He's in his baby walker. Like, we've had this baby walker for ages. He kind of has, like, sits in it sometimes. He doesn't sit in it very long. But um, as of yesterday, he realized he can move in it. <laughs> like, he actually realized. He was like, oh my God, I'm like moving. And he was like moving around the, um, down the hallway. He got stuck at the door though, because we've got a doormat there. But yeah, that's quite funny just to watch him have a little bit of freedom in some ways. But he is starting to find things, as you can imagine they do when they're moving about. But he was like pulling bits from here. This is where we usually have our wood and stuff for the um, the Rayburn, but it's just mainly just full of paper now. What are you doing? Hmm? Yeah, I'm just gonna make myself coffee. I think I might get this munchy fed. I might just give him a little bit of a snack. I made a batch of these. Um, I recently got the, I had this on pre-order from like January. So it's finally in stock. So I made um, sweet, sweet corn, banana and spinach muffins from here. Most of them are in the freezer. That's just what we had. I had one yesterday. Miles had one yesterday. They're actually really, really nice. Um, so I think I might give him one of these this morning. Mm, is that nice? I think they're a hit. Because we've got two bananas in the recipe. They are quite sweet, but obviously naturally sweet. And then just full of some veggies as well. And it does actually work. Like the weird, weirdest thing is, like because I had one, I was like, oh, you can really taste the sweet corn and the spinach and the banana. Is that nice? Alistair's birthday's on Thursday. Um, it's supposed to be really, really nice weather the next week. Like we're getting back into the 20s. Um, so I'm really happy about that, that his birthday, usually his birthday's pretty good. Sometimes it's a little bit drizzly, but most of the time we're kind of, it, yeah, it's nice weather. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a little bit of birthday prep going on the next couple of days. I need to get to the supermarket. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try and do a weekly vlog. This hopefully will turn into a weekly vlog and not in, not into a mammoth two-day vlog or whatever. We'll see what happens. Who's that? Who's that eight-month-old pickle? Huh? Who's that? Just at the computer, seeing if I can find violets and works. So I've managed to print out like year six. They're quite on it mm. with their work. They just get it sorted for Sunday night and you kind of just print it out ready and his, he's literally set for the week. Violets, however, they've got the weekly timetable out. They've got the maths project. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, they haven't done anything else. I'm still yeah. waiting for something to print out for her, really. Violet did Stonehenge project last week. So we went to Stonehenge to December 2016. I didn't realise it was such a long time ago. But yeah, she did wrote some facts, which was lovely and neat. And then we I popped in some 
photos of us from December 2016 at Stonehenge. It's like nearly eight o'clock and we just thought we'd check on the lazy one. The one that needs more sleep than anybody else, this girl over here. Can I hold my feet? And uh, I'll show you Violet's wall actually. I got one of those signs for her room. And then also I put that canvas that I was talking about. How much nicer does that look? In here, and, um, I've got like a spare shelf. It used to actually be there because when she was little, she had the shelf there, and then she had her little wooden kitchen there. Um, so we've got a spare shelf. It's probably like three, I don't know, a good three quarters of that size. And I'm going to get Gray to pop it up there so she can put her um, beanie boos up there. My pinboard. Or your pin, yeah, your pinboard as well. Or your beanie boos. It's up to you really because the pinboard's yeah. down there because we haven't got that on the wall yet. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty much complete. We had a declutter of this area. You got him? Yeah. Um, and up here as well, because it was chaos. And I stuck her, used some hooks, and put her hair bands and accessories on the side. What dresses Violet's got for today? She doesn't usually let me pick out her clothes, to be perfectly honest. A flower one. Oh, what about this one? Yeah. You haven't worn that one. I think I got this one last year. Primark one. How gorgeous is that? Water bargain as well. Right, Miles is down finally for a nap. He was up probably about three and a half hours. He wasn't that windy at all and I kind of thought, well, I'll give him a try. And he had a quick feed and he was just out like a light. That's a sweaty Monday, tick. Now time to shower, Graham's not back yet. Right, Miles has been asleep for about an hour. Um, Graham's just gone came in for a really quick bit of breakfast. I just had a quick shower, got this dress on. You may recognize this from last summer. So this isn't actually maternity, but I wore this up until at least 35 weeks pregnant and then I got a bit tight around the bust. But it's just a general dress from New Look. Got it in the sale last year. Um, yeah, I'm just making myself some breakfast actually. I'm having eggs, scrambled eggs with spinach, Half an avocado and then I'm just munching on some pineapple. Right, what's the betting that Miles is literally just going to wake up? I just have this feeling. Right, baby still asleep. Kids are cracking on with her work. Violet's science this week is about soil. Alistair's doing newspaper articles for his... Um, yeah. Well, we've had one storm out already. Hard. Don't know what to do really. I mean, I can't force him to be in here to kind of work, but he's given up already. We've only been doing it for like 10 minutes. I think someone's awake. I'm going to go in Munchy chicken. Isn't he a lucky little boy? <laughs> so is that the list? Are we done? Got to change this monkey in a minute. Are you ready for the day? He had a two hour nap. Clearly needed it. Huh? We definitely went over that. Tally chart. Well his breath is all fresh apparently. Thank goodness. Midday, she finally brushed her teeth. <laughs> right, we're gonna walk. Go walk the doggies. Right, walk in with the doggies before lunch. Work's been hard this morning, hasn't it, guys? Yeah. It's like getting blood out of a stone, literally. It's been, God, it's taking ages, honestly. Never mind, it's done. It's done for the day, isn't it, Vi? Yeah. Done. Trying to keep up with those lot. Right, washing out for the day. Tick. I think I've got another load to go on, maybe. All right, just dishing out some lunch. We've got some quiche that the kids are having, apple, we've got some sweet potato and some veggie stuff that they can dig into. And then Miles has a mixture. And life in the pool. Munchie's actually only been, this is the second time now he's been in it, but the first time he was in the float, so I thought it'd be nice for him. It's just, yeah, he's like this 
like a big bath. Is this a big bath? Warm. It's so clear and the Kids water. are like proper. Can you see his little tie dye? This is from H&M. It's only eleven ninety nine. Um, but I got the kids. Look, show them your one, by <laughs> Matching. Got a matching <laughs> swim costume. Yeah, you probably can't see mine. I just got like a little bikini. Thank you. <laughs> Getting a splash of his little splatter in there. It's like you're a vampire. <laughs> Is that good? Huh? Like you're a vampire. <laughs> okay. Is that good? Battling with the water guns. Yeah, we did have some, but they just, over the time, they just get worn out. <laughs> ready, Mum? Yeah, I'm ready. ready We're ready. Oh, for the waves? Whoa! Oh yeah, we've got some waves coming by. Oh. Alright, everyone's out of the pool. Miles is having a nap. He's been down for about 15 minutes. Graham actually took him out and just put him straight into a sleep suit and just put him down because he was getting a little bit tired in the pool. So I could have a little sort of swim on my own and just relax. Um, yeah, everyone's out of the pool. Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm-hmm. Have a little bit of um, relaxing time. Gonna have a bit of me time while Miles nap naps, and then when he's up, we'll go for a little walk around the farm later. Right, they found some garden toys in the little house. They're doing the sack race. Are you sure you want your hair up like that, Vi? Huh? Are you gonna leave your hair up? That's gonna be a bit heavy. <laughs> heavy. Right, you ready? You gotta go or go to to the climbing frame and back. Wait, we need three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. That's it, keep going. <laughs> and back. Hold your sack, Violet, hold your sack. You lose it. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> oh. The ring toss, but the rings are like rope, so I think that's a bit harder. I know. I love the old school games. Just checking out the baby, see if you can see him. He's absolute sound though, which is good. I think the pool completely knocked him out. I'm not sure I'm too happy about this. Loaded. See these super soakers? We've had these for a few years from Costco. They are lethal. Wait, you need to get wet first, Alistair. I know. Alistair, shoot it up. Whoa! <laughs> he just missed me. You need to get wet, Alistair. Oh, is that, is that how it works? Right, Miles had hour and 15. Just having a little rice cake snack. I think he's really teething. He's had his hands in his mouth a lot today. Woke up dribbling like crazy. Go see what Graham's doing. He's probably just feeding around. I think the kids are gonna help pick up the eggs and stuff. See, I caught the sun a little bit. Whoops. Sometimes it's a bit deceiving, isn't it, when the wind's going crazy. You think, oh, it's not hot, and then it's actually burning you still. Need help? Nope.
Right, aim. That's it. Oh yeah. We missed the chicken palaver. Alistair was picking up eggs and um, left the door open so we had chicken everywhere where they shouldn't be. So horrible. Do they? Because you've got um, sandals on. Food and sandals. Food and sandals don't mix well. Hey, Miles. Yeah, I did get to put that much in because I had food in my sandals. <laughs> Watch in. <laughs> Have you noticed some amazing haircut by me? Do it, do a twirl. Yeah, I did that haircut. I did it, and I did Alistair's. Not so well. Yeah. <laughs> it's good though. Looks better. No, don't, do that. <laughs> don't look at the thinning top. Oh, big bouncers coming in. All right. Oh no. See. It's turned right. Oh dear. This part. It's not good, is it? Heavy bulldozer. Turn around, yeah. Oh, it's all over you, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he loves it. What's the bounce? Come here, come here. Going backwards. Going backwards. Oh, he's going round in circle. Oh, no. Look at him on his butt. Oh. <laughs> oh! Exhausting, isn't it? It's exhausting. <laughs> so, not that way. Getting bounced about. I was considering getting some like um, ball pit balls to put in here just for a bit of fun. I think Miles would like that. Stop, <laughs> right, the kids are entertaining. <gasps> oh dear, blimey, I've not done that in a long, a very long time. Flip an egg. Oh my god, that must be my dancing in when I was in the pool. Weird. I didn't really sit out of the pool most of the time, really, but because that one looks thicker, that strap. Anyway, um, the kids are watching Peppa Pig, entertaining Miles. Just cracking on with dinner. We're having bolognese tonight with penne pasta, garlic bread. Really fancy. I'm really hungry. Didn't really eat much for lunch, to be perfectly honest. Had a couple of rice cakes for snack. Oh, I'm just folding baby stuff up. This was actually Alistair's blanket. I love this blanket. I I um, sorted out a car yesterday or the day before, maybe. I can't remember which day it was. Just pulled out loads of stuff and there was, um, I have like a box of just baby essentials and then toys and stuff when Miles is in the car, but obviously we have not been in the car for so long. I actually haven't really sorted it out for ages. So I ended up pulling out some stuff like little hats, look how tiny that is, it's nowhere going to fit him now, but it means that I can keep it. Little baby grows, that's not going to fit him now, I think that's for three to six months. But I can just put it away, I think, as like a to go with my um. I do like a little. The kids, both of them, have got a box full of just those first things, like first shoes, the first hat, that sort of thing. Little knitted cardigans. So these bits are going to go into that box for miles. Right, dishing yeah, up. Yeah, Dad, you better the watch it. Miles is done. Garlic bread looks good. Now you better. Mm. Okay. Oh, Screamathon's hungry. All right, kitchen clean up. Oh God, it looks so red, like a tomato. Anyway, I've, yeah, cleaned clean the kitchen. I've hoovered all round, even in the lounge, because grass, just so much grass is coming from outside. I'm just filling up some water, quickly mop round. I find doing it early on in the week, like best to fit it in because Graham's like quieter days more on Monday and Tuesday and then by the end of the week he's just so busy I just do less housework if that makes sense so yeah try and get it done when I have the time when he's entertaining the baby he's clapping he's clapping why was he clapping Oh my goodness, yay! 
Knuckle clapping. Knuckle Yay! Clapping. <laughs> You're so good. You clever boy. Right, fill me up. We're just roasting marshmallows. Mm. So delicious. Had four. You've had four? No, had four. I think I've had five. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how many I've had. <laughs> I've had a couple of doubles. <gasps> He's a clever boy. <laughs> Turn too much for you, Vi. She barely oh, likes it. I like it just turned tiny bit black. Oh, it's like, no. Oh, no. Well, Alistair pretty fun. much burns his every time. But you still eat them, don't you? <laughs> There's Munch. It's our little, little animal. I, we thought he'd be in bed by now, but clearly he's not. He's a, he's a wild one tonight, isn't he? He's got so much energy. But then again, he did have a two hour nap this morning and an hour nap in the afternoon. Ooh. Where are you going? Good morning everybody. I'm literally just loading the bags up. Ugh. We are going shopping today. Just going to unplug the car. Honestly, haven't filled up the car because obviously our car is the hybrid so it's part electric. But we haven't filled up the car the whole time we've been in lockdown. Which is fabulous. Helping anyway, yeah, I am leaving at about eight o'clock, I think, in the morning. Um, Graham was, because obviously, Graham obviously works every day. So he was like, um, if you want to go, it's probably best to go in the morning anyway. Because um, he's around more so in the mornings than the afternoons. I actually didn't realise how, like, burnt I got yesterday until I got out of the shower last night and literally... I was so red, I'm quite sore. I can't believe, I'm so, I was so stupid just to not even think to put sun cream on myself. Like you lather up the kids and you make sure they've got the sun hats on and safe. The only thing I did yesterday was pop on some sunglasses, which I, you could probably see because I've got white, white eyes. But um, yeah, we're going to the supermarket. I am, I'm going to Sainsbury's. So Miles woke up, he was really unsettled yesterday, like last night. By the time he actually went to sleep, it was about half past eight, which is really quite late for him. I think he's really, really teething. He just seemed to have his hands in his mouth all day yesterday. Every time he would feed, he would kind of like, obviously he's got two little teeth now, he'd kind of like, kind of chomp on me while he was feeding. It was horrible. Um, definitely not the first time he's done that either. He has been quite um, kind of rough when he feeds as of the last few weeks. Just, I think it's down to teething anyway. Um, but he woke up for his first feed at three o'clock in the morning. And I put him back down at like quarter past three and I just thought, right, I'll check if Sainsbury's, the two sale was on because obviously it's 25 percent off today and it was already on online so i ended up making an order at half past three in the morning because i thought i might as well i had loads of things in my basket that were already removed so things were selling out and out of stock already um yeah i just basically got him mainly stuff 18 to 24 months for like going into autumn um yeah so i'm gonna go to sainsbury's anyway because it's a really large store see what they've got and obviously I've got to pick up some birthday supplies um, and just do a really large shop because I have not had a food delivery two weeks ago and honestly we are completely out of cereal now um, out of bread like literally yesterday we used up everything like everything had just completely vanished well I'm in it's lovely and dead looking at the clothes section i swear they've got none of this online because i definitely looked online for women's but i didn't i don't remember seeing any of these how sweet is that it's a really nice swimsuit the orange one It's like a high-waisted set and that one it's like nobody here I love it oh my god I love that that is like so me I swear though I have so many blue 
style dresses like this. That's so nice though. So we're like a midi length. It's quite long actually. Cardigan. Yeah, I've got ones like this. I've got one like that. I've got one that's just strapped. That's really nice. That's £20. Look at these like cover ups. That's really pretty. Oh my god, look at those. How cute are those? I've got such wide feet though, they probably wouldn't suit me. They're 14 pounds. They're so nice. Oh my god, I love that as well. How nice is that? It's like a really loose fitting boxy top. That's 16 pounds. Quite a lot of leopard print. That's pretty cool. God, there's so many cute clothes. So many cute things. I'm tempted to get Miles this in the 18 to 24 months just to put it away. It's a, little, it's a lightweight waterproof. I think that'd be really useful. It's £12. Right, I'm back with my baby. He's got chocolate biscotti on his face. It's like a baby biscuit I gave him while I was putting <laughs> me shopping away. We need to get changed because I'm in a long sleeve top and jeans and I'm hot. And he's doing his PJs. He had a nap while I was shopping. Obviously, Graham was looking after the kids. They've done work as well. So he was doing the work while he was napping. Yeah, you are. In our, I can't believe how, like, I was there for quite a long time. I was just like browsing. Um, yeah, it's like nearly 11 o'clock. We've had a busy morning. Right, not taking any chances today. Um, Miles has got the sun cream out. We are smothered. Like, look at that. Horrendous. It's really sore, um, smothered in suntan lotion, myself and all obviously. Um, the kids have already gone down the farm, um, just folding up some washing quick and then we're gonna, me and Miles are gonna meet them, meet them down there. He's just um, entertaining himself. Those big white bags are where the food is. Can you see those chickens? I'm trying to get out, Miles. Cheeky chickens. They were all over the show yesterday, everywhere. You all look the same, honestly. Well, that is a lot of eggs. It's hard to carry. Just taking these doggies for a walk before it gets too hot. Um, I'm obviously not putting the grocery haul in this vlog because it will just be too long, but um, it will be up before this one. So just if you look back a couple. Um, but yeah, pretty much got everything I wanted. There were a few things that just the shelves were a bit bare in certain areas, but they had the basic staples that I needed anyway. I just bought a load of bread and like carbs to stick in the freezer. My freezer was like empty. Um, cereal, you know, just the standard staples really that I needed for like cooking and got party bits, like party food bits for Alistair's birthday because he has requested, because I said to him, what would you like for your birthday dinner? Um, like anything specific? And he, he wanted party food. So that's just like sausage rolls and pizza and party rings and that sort of thing. Nibbly bits, I think. So that's what I got. And it's nice and easy as well. Everything's pretty much done. You just have to pull it out of the packet. And uh, Graham's requested a curry for his birthday. So I think we'll probably just do a usual, like, you know, when we've had like a curry takeaway on the, or delivery on the weekend, I think we just do it on the Thursday because his birthday is literally the week after on the 28th. I must admit, I haven't missed fast food at all, apart from the occasional, we love, Dom like I love Domino's pizza, it's just something about it, but we only literally would have it like maybe once a month, maybe, yeah, once a month and once every two months, like not that often, but that's one thing that I have definitely only missed out of fast food. 
yeah, Domino's Pizza, and they don't deliver where we live anyway at all because it's, it's quite far just to go to Domino's Pizza just to pick up. We always always used to do collection, the buy one get one free collection. So yeah, I'm missing. I'm, that's the only thing I'm missing. So here's a question to leave in the comments. So what have you missed from being in lockdown? Not, I know obviously everyone misses their friends and family, but is there anything else you've really missed? Um, I think I've just missed generally just having freedom. Just, yeah, I mean, it's weird because although I'm at home with the children, I feel more alone than ever, I think, because I don't have the extra people around me even when you go to a local coffee shop and you just chat to someone in the you know in the queue or I just everything just feels really bizarre like you just don't talk to people anymore and I haven't really seen anybody um and I you know obviously I miss my family and friends as well just the social side of things I think I miss the most um and just having the freedom really just to get in my car and just go for a drive um, I know you can, you know, really do that, but it's not really something it's worth risking for right now. It's just not, it's not even crossed my mind to get us all in the car and go out anywhere. Um, but yeah, what have you missed most about this lockdown, whether it be a food or anything really? Oh, talking about cars, I just had this wave of thing that I have been thinking about. I need to get Miles a new car seat. If you follow me on Instagram, I did put a little poll out, just a, well, just a little question thing to see whether, so what car seat you recommend for the next stage. Um, he is massive. He needs to go in a bigger car seat um, already out of the newborn, like first car seat. Um, we've been looking at, we first looked at the RAC Corsato. I think it's like a 361. So it stays rear facing for quite a while, but then everyone recommended the Joey. 360 spin so I think we're going to go for the Joey um, but yeah if you've got any recommendations um, I think we're pretty much set on the Joey to be perfectly honest it is highly rated and it's uh, rear facing till age of four but obviously I don't know if we get to the age of four because he is quite big but at least for the next two years he can be rear facing right got the kiddies some lunch on the go miles some lunch everyone's got a sandwich basically like warburton thin sandwich this is the aftermath it's what happens in it when i'm like trying to whiz around trying to do everything everything comes out and doesn't get put back so i'm gonna quickly whiz around and make my lunch graham did a bit of washing up this morning these pans were filled this morning from the dishwasher right fresh coffee or oh, this morning's coffee that i've reheated with some almond milk. I've just pulled the cover off. I need to just swoosh around a little bit. Kids are, I don't know, clean out the filter looks like. There's Miles, I need to get the shade over him. He will go for a nap soon because he's been up for over three hours now. <sighs> you right? There was a lot of stuff in the... Yeah. It's a spider! What, floating in there? Oh, it's in there. Right, I'm going to... Wow, look how much that is. Let me see it, it looks flaky, it kind of looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Right, got mine covered, the shade. Um, found the, the net for the pool, don't know why, but it was by the rabbits. Someone must be messy about that. Let's get all the bits and bobs out. There's not much actually in here. Hmm. It's pretty clear actually. How many bits and bobs is there? Yeah, I've got most of the big bits actually. Because there could be stuff. Oh yeah, it's probably underneath that. And that's a sack. We've got a sack in here as well. Go! Oh my gosh, I sprayed you. Alright, in the pool. Not risking it today. Covered up. Covered up. <laughs> my chest is so red. Hey, you're supposed to play nicely. I don't know why you got my mind. Me too, honestly. All they do is just argue. Okay, splash, so splash, 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 splash. It's so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's all right, those. <laughs> My ooze is so nice. <laughs> it's still sunburnt, Mum. I know, that's why I've got this on. I'm covering myself up. Mm. I've put loads of cream on. We've got to be careful in the sun, haven't we? Especially today, because it's really hot. Today. It's supposed to be hotter tomorrow. It's almost like you can always swim like a four year old. 
Like a four-year-old. No, not a four-year-old, like a two. I just want to hold Miles. How can you hold him then? Because I've always wanted to hold him. But no, he lets me. He didn't even ask. Yeah. He didn't even ask these things. Oh, got him? <laughs> yeah. He's not even helping him at all. Well, hold, we've got to hold him up though, yeah? You've got yeah. him. What are you doing? I don't step him out. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to hold him, but while it's just not nice. He's happy, he's mad. I know. <laughs> I looked at it when he was eating. Loading cannons. Don't worry, Miles isn't in there. In your cannons. Graham's just to gone to put Miles down because he's just too tired. Miles is one. <laughs> Oh, they are so powerful. I know. And Alistair just accidentally sprayed me. I was like, no, just wash my hair. Well, half mine. Spot a beach ball. Beach uh, ball, pool ball, volleyball. Um, let's get the things out. Piggy in the middle. Hey. Who's in the middle? You. Hey. Okay. Okay. You sure? I'll be in the middle because I can, you know. No. Okay, okay, I don't really mind. I don't really either. Why do you want to be in the middle or me? I'm not okay at it. Alright, it's all over then. We're in the middle. It's hard to provide because it's deeper. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, Alright. Oh, mm. no, it's not right. Well, should we play our boom? Yeah, that's right. You can Ow! Ow! I've got to charge for a little while. So we were in the pool. Um, Miles went down for a nap. He's literally only just woken up in the net last like 10 minutes. I've just given him a little snack. You can see he's covered me in his little baby biscuit. Um, the kids have just been inside calling off for a little bit because they're in the pool we're in the pool for ages i was like a wrinkly prune i still am a bit wrinkly um and now they've gone out to ride their bikes for a bit yeah it's been um it's pretty chill this afternoon it's been really nice actually it's nearly three o'clock uh. miles had a good hour and a half which is good because well he clearly needed it which is always a good thing when he goes for like a proper nap and actually the last two days he has been having a morning nap and then a little bit of a later nap so maybe it is worth, nope. it is worth trying to make him stay up longer. Because usually I try and fit in, I'd say three naps during the day. Um, it just depends, doesn't it? Because at the moment, I think where he is teething, he seems extra tired. And then also because of this warmer weather, again, he just seems, it just hits them more, I think, especially if we're outside and he was in the pool for a little bit and I think it just exhausted him. He was so ready to get out, he had a proper meltdown. Didn't you? Yeah, little blondie, his hair's getting so long. Look at it. I can't see, if we turn around that way. Yeah, it's just super blonde and it's getting so long. Yeah. Gorgeous boy. As you can hear, got another load of washing on. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. TV. What have you got, Miles? Squeaky, squeaky eggs. New favourite word. What's his new favourite word, Violet? Dada. Look, look, he's on this. What's his new favourite word? Dad. Dad, 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 dad. <gasps> Where's dad? Do you know what you have? I don't care about dad right now. Nope. Dad, 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 dad. Dad, 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 dad. 
No, what, mum, 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 mum. He was saying mum though, wasn't he? Do you remember a few weeks ago he was going mum? <laughs> more, more, more food. Greedy. He starved. Oh, little red butterfly. Come, see ya. Right, let's go for an afternoon walk. This is mum life. Can you see my lovely stain? I can't even bother to change it, honestly. I'm not seeing anybody. So if you're offended by it, I'm sorry. But this is if it's not sick or food, it's always some sort of something. Just a person. Please. Take turns. She's been on it more than She's me. only just got on it. Yeah, please. I'm ready. <coughs> Careful, we don't want to knock That's anybody off now. <laughs> My baby here. I've come up here and I was like, I'm going to have a go. I'm going to swing. But it was like, I'm really scared for you, Mum. And I was like, why are you scared for me? She said, because you're heavy. That's a pro. Thanks, Vi. You're heavier know, than um, children. I know. And then but Alistair's a good about six, five, six stone, one. I would say. He's really heavy. He Let doesn't look it, but he is really heavy. For record now. Go, go, go. <laughs> just, walk, just walk off the edge. Just walk off the edge. Give her up, her, give her up. Her. I'm too old, honestly. Right, I think she was right. I'm too heavy. It was fun though. I kind of hung a little bit, but my hands, ouch. Too heavy. I'll kill you. He's winding her up. With my muscle. With my muscle. He's on her bike. It's a bit warm. A bit warm. Just try miles with one of these little isolly mold thingies the other ones in the freezer but they're by nook i got these actually ages ago right in the beginning of these like weaning thing i've ordered loads of things for family and they're under four pounds for like four breast milk lolly you want it mm. nice. i actually think he's going to be disappointed when it's all gone Is that nice? What flavour is that? Mm, it's a uh, milk. Mummy milk. Mmm. So we don't have to. So it's not on my story. Yeah, it is. Is it melting? Yeah. Oh, that must be so nice. What? What my milk? <laughs> no, not your milk. <laughs> right, just cracking on with dinner. I've got pies. These were fresh and then I put them in the freezer. Graham made like a mud, these are mud food pies. Um, so Graham's got steak and kidney. I've got the uh, veggie one, which is the mushroom and asparagus and the kids are having chicken and mushroom, which actually is one of their newest ones. Oh, good morning. Rough night with this one. Hello. Couldn't think it. Bit of a lay in because it was a really rough night. It's about half past seven. Oh, excuse me. Mum is tired and Graham's gone off to market today, so he was he was up as well, the poor things. So he was out, he left for work at five for the day. So, yeah, I'm feeling a bit rough this morning. Oh, I'm on my own as well because Graham's obviously at market all day bit of homeschooling, hopefully, if we get some stuff done. Hello. Um, yeah, it's Wednesday. Oh, oh, one thing we do need to do. Um, me and Alistair are going to bake his cake today and decorate it. He's baking a chocolate cake for his birthday tomorrow. It's, one, it's what he wanted to do. Um, which, yeah, it's going to be really nice because it's something we've never done before. 
and he's never wanted to do. So that should be fun. I look desperate to help as well. She was, she was like, can I help decorate it? So i uh, see if she wants to help as well. Yeah. Oh, give me a kiss then. Give me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we have some bit of rubbish news. Uh, Graham messaged me this morning, well, about 10 minutes ago, to say that a fox got in with the young chicken. So our new chicken, <sighs> which is always devastation because foxes, they don't just take one chicken or two or as many chicken as they want. They run around and kill loads. And Graham sent me a picture and it's awful. I don't know how many the fox killed, but it's probably about 20 or 30. So that's the devastation of foxes. They get in the barn, they go crazy and take one chicken. It's just awful. What cereal are you gonna have this morning? Wait. Managed to get Violet's favourite cereal. One of Violet's favourite cereals. Um, well, both because I like you. Uh, you like the hoops? I'm gonna go for hoops. Are you? You're not gonna go for those little mini things? Mini chocolate chip, wheat mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go and chocolate. <laughs> that, no question. What makes me alone? <laughs> Alistair's cake stuff for today. We've got, this is what I went with. You probably see it in a haul anyway. Cadbury's fudge icing, chocolate sponge cake. We've got two seven inch tins. These are the ones that come out. These are really, really good. They're from Lakeland. Um, Try chocolate stars. Yeah, Oreos apparently ones on there. And when the kids went to bed, I actually made Miles a win and 15 recipe. These are the baked oats, which was really, really quick. Put the ingredients together, bung it in the oven for 20 minutes. Just put berries in it, there's a grated pear. The recipe was actually grated apple, but I had, I had a pear that really was ripe, so I thought I might as well use it. Trying out some new coffee this morning. It's like a nutty caramel thing I got yesterday. It smells incredible. Having my favorite cinnamon and raisin loaf, which I did have a slice yesterday as well for lunch. So plan for today, need to bake a cake with Alistair. Need to get some homework done. Needs to pick, some, pick up some eggs, because Graham isn't around. Need to feed around the pigs at some point. Make sure their water is top up. Miles, because it's a warm day, take the dogs out for a walk. Generally, look after everybody, feed everybody, clean, tidy. That that's just not that important. The cleaning and tidying that can wait till later or tomorrow. Um, have fun in the pool because it's a nice hot day. Walk the dogs. Did I say that. Um, also, when Alice is in bed, need to build a balloon art. <coughs> Actually, it just reminds me, see if Graham can pick up an 11 balloon. I wasn't sure if we're going to have one. Okay, I've just done the kids' lunches for today. Just get them prepared so I don't have to think about it. Right, just getting some lunch prep done for me and Miles. So we are having um, like a pasta salad. I've got my favourite paprika and tomato pesto. This one's amazing. Um, nearly out actually. I've got the chickpea pasta. I love this pasta because it's a fresh pasta. It takes literally like three to five minutes maximum to cook. Got leftover avocado, looking a little bit sad. I've kind of smushed it a bit, a bit, but it should be fine. Tomatoes, literally all I have left. Spinach, I'm gonna add some cashews and some hemp seeds. Okay, that is the pasta salad done. Right, let's get this baby ready for the day. Something comfortable and not too warm. Right, this little number is H&M. <coughs> yeah, it's by the Conscious Collection. And this is 12 to 18 months, but it's actually, yeah, it's quite nice. It's really kind of light as well. <coughs> teething necklace has gone on. He hasn't worn that for a couple of days. And obviously, I mean, it's teething. Right, one of my favorite dresses. This is an eBay cheapie. I've had this for a few years though. It's got pineapples on it. So I am wearing this. It's really lightweight. And there's my roly poly baby. <laughs> roly poly baby. Can't put him anywhere now. Can't put him anywhere. Gotta watch her constantly. Right, bed's made. It's gonna be a good day. What's wrong? I was never.
never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one. I don't know how, I kind of feel like I put pressure on myself to get the kids to do work, but then Alistair storms oh. out and Miles don't, well, doesn't want to go for a nap. I just feel like it, some days it feels totally impossible to just <laughs> comfortably do work, you know? Oh, I just feel really stressed this morning. Alistair was stressed because he's been crying the whole time, just on and off, and he can't concentrate, and I don't know what to do. So he's gone off to sort the chickens out. So I said him just to have a breather, you know. I need a breather. <laughs> Don't know why I feel so stressed. I'm sorry, I just do. <laughs> it's only schoolwork. It's really not massively important if we don't do it today. But I don't know why. I just feel the pressure. <laughs> Anyway, I don't want the kids to see me upset, but <sighs> it's nearly 11 o'clock. We need to go out and get, get a walk in or something. I just need a, some fresh air breather. Right, we can resume in a minute. <laughs> We're going to go out. Violet's done a lot of English today. She's done a bit of science. She's done really, really well. Alistair has done a bit of writing. But other than that, he's just not not feeling it. I mean, potentially he's going back to school anyway in two weeks and next week's half term. So, yeah. I think he just needs more one-on-one one -on -one and I just can't, I can't do that. Right, you gonna sit here quick while I have a quick, quick wee break? It's literally what I get every time I like walk out of the room with just a scream. It's overwhelming, it's honestly at the moment of just having no space no, Alistair was doing his work in here just for some quiet but you can't really get out of quiet when a baby's crying baby cries you hear it everywhere don't you right let's go find Alistair on this glorious day I think he's down the farm collecting the eggs apparently sick sicken <laughs> 16 chickens were found dead this morning not as bad as I thought which is good but still obviously devastating all right while it's cracking on Help her. Poor piggy. Wipe off her head. She probably have a good shake in a minute. <laughs> oh, I think she shook it off. Fighting. Girls. Right, just walking the dogs and then we're gonna go back. It's nearly quarter to twelve. <sighs> I think I was hoping he might, you know, even nap in the bush chair, but no, he literally I've laid it. I didn't lay it flat, but I kind of laid it a little bit more back because he loves it upright looking at everything. But he's like rubbing his eyes. I thought right, I lay it just a little bit. He screamed, so I put it back up. He's looking at everything. He doesn't nap that well anyway in his pushchair ever, but I don't know, might have to give him lunch and hopefully with a full belly, he might nod off after lunch. Also, I wanna make, Alistair keeps asking to make his cake and can't really do, it's really hard, isn't it, when you've got little ones to actually focus on stuff like that. I'd rather just have my full attention to the kids to make bake a cake than be half-heartedly trying to do this, that and the other. And we've got lunch, obviously. Can't wait till we um, make the cake. I know, me too. But can I'm glad I. Lunch? Um, we'll have to see because Miles still isn't asleep, as you can see. He's been up five hours now, and he was just screaming his head mm. off. Oh dear, it's one of those days. So anyway. Those teeth are coming through. Yeah, probably. Oh, that's all right. Hopefully, Daddy will be back soon. Knuckle clap. Yay, clever boy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Come finish up then, you're doing really well. So I've given him more strawberries, he's doing really well. Not really anything on the floor? Yeah. Mm -mm. Get some what flavour? We've got cherry, raspberry or orange? Orange. Orange, yeah. Probably daddy's least favourite, so never mind. Right, how do you make your jelly? Oh, I know which one she has now, the powder. I... Oh, she has the granules. Yeah, the ones that's in the packet. And just Cold water. water in the microwave. Two minutes on high. Da, da, da. I'm going to top it up to a full oh, pint yeah, and then it's not, you don't have to wait for it to cool down. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you boil a kettle and you have to wait ages for it to cool down before you start putting it in the mould. I'm using these for the mould. It also sets quicker because obviously it's not as hot. It's just a little bit lukewarm. But anyway, these are going in the fridge for party tomorrow. Right. Finally, Miles is napping after being awake for over six hours. Let's get this done. It's got chocolate chunks in as well. It smells really good. It smells like Cadbury's hot chocolate. Right, so we need to add three eggs. So we've got eggs here. Three. Yep. And then 100 ml of vegetable oil and then 160 ml of milk. And that's pretty much it. Simples. Oh dear. Double oh yolkers. <gasps> Let's fish have three eggs and now we've got six. more. Six. No, we've got five. We've got five. Whoops. Five. Ah, well, they're only little ones anyway. Oh What's this? <sighs> Never mind. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Right, let's get the... Six. Keep going. Right, there we go. All good. Bertie boy gets the bowl. Mm. Violet gets the whisk. Ready for the oven. Let's hope this turns out good. All right, I haven't really seen you for a while because... It has been an eventful day. It's been, it feels like a very long day. Miles napped for about an hour and 15. My dad actually popped over for like a self-distance outside cup of tea. Um, yeah, and brought over cards and stuff for Alistair's birthday tomorrow. Graham's been to, obviously, the farmer's market. I've got so much to put away. The cake, he's actually outside with Miles now. The cake is there. I literally took out the oven and I haven't touched it since. But yeah, Graham got nappies. He went to Lidl actually, picked up nappies and wipes. And then we've got the fruit and veggie stuff from the farmer's market. I've got some flowers. Yeah, I've just got a lot to put away. He also came bearing gifts of gin, mixed gin, and also tonic. There was no tonic actually in Sainsbury's yesterday. Teething stuff for Miles. We ran out of Calpo ages ago. And absolute favourite, the little seashells. They're incredible. Right, we're having dinner outside tonight. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've just literally topped some pizzas. So that's what we've got. Quick and easy. Yeah. I know. The sun's at the wrong. You can sit there. Sit, or you can sit this side. That's up to you. Just try and you can always try and shuffle up. Chilies I've got, and then we've got cheeky donuts. These are the hazelnut filled donuts from Lidl. They are yep. incredible. I haven't tried them yet. They are amazing, Alistair. That's a nice birthday treat for you. Early birthday treat. <laughs> Munchie is eating a spoon instead of eating his dinner. This is a mixture of dinner he's got. Yum yum yum. Mm. Well, this is cozy. <laughs> Sheltering from the shade. Right, super drug. Super drug? Say that to launch the coronavirus antibody testing. Really? Wow, really? If you think you've had it, someone in the past. Yummy, yummy. I need to make some more. I think I might do like a smoothie one, or maybe, a or I could do one. I could do strawberries in water. I think I've seen those ones. Yeah, strawberry. Delish. Okay, it's like a naked cake, you know, where you can kind of see the. So I've just iced it through. It's a bit. This fudge icing so nice and it's so easy to spread as well it's not like gloopy it's really i don't know smooth 
Oh, How's it look? White chocolate. Oh. oh, that is good so far. Thank mm -hmm. you. Looks really good. White these are these chocolate. giant chocolate White stars. Chocolate. And I have two more. That's it. It's I fine. have two more. And that's been. That's it. Because you've got to fit them all in. Oh my god, that looks so good. Chocolate. And then one white in the middle. Perfect. We're doing ninja stars Boom. and ball balls around the side. Boom. That's not how I was thinking it. Because I had a dream about my cake. You did? Yeah. Well, how did you, what did you dream it would look like? I have like, like. Like a huge. A hu no, like, actually it comes the same size. And then there'll be like Fortnite on top of it. Oh, okay. And there's like a sticker on it. Hmm. Right, finally got a baby to bed. It's been a long day. He's napped for one hour today so it's been it's been long he's not been too bad but yeah i am honestly quite relieved he's in bed now and hopefully he will stay asleep for a few hours before the next feed the kids finished the cake i'll show you what they did so impressed with how they've done it because they didn't kind of go too overboard i thought they were just going to like slather everything on and but they've done really, really well. See Alistair's cake topper. I actually got this from eBay. You can see it's black and glittery. And she just like laser cuts them or whatever. Um, so yeah, we've got Oreos around it. We've got stars and ball balls around it. And I think it just turned out really, really good. For, like a really nice chocolatey homemade cake. And now I've just got the mess to tidy up. And try not to eat this. Here we go, I ended up moving it to my new dome, but obviously as you can see it's a lot smaller. I like the fact that it's smaller though because it means I can pop it in the fridge because my other one is huge. Um, so yeah, I had to take all the bits and bobs off. So yeah, never mind, that's fine, that's done. Right, I'm so tempted to get in the pool and just have like a nice swim. Peaceful, nice swim. Everyone's outside. James, I think, should just moved the trampoline because it's obviously when it moved last week in that crazy wind, we just left it there. I think he's moved it back to its original spot. Are you pegging it down? Oh, what's that fancy thing? Is that an actual proper thing? That's no, a dog. Bang. On. Mommy, dog. Oh, that's a good can idea. we get a basketball hoop that's and a good. basketball or ball? That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. My idea. Is that your idea? Oh, oh my gosh. That would be cool. I wonder if they actually do trampoline ones. I might have a look. Amazon. I'm sure they do. Right. First time we've done a balloon garden. Got garden. Garland. Really happy with that. All set for the birthday boy tomorrow. <sighs> right, it is the next day. It's Alistair's birthday. I just wanted to come on and end my vlog because obviously it's three days and it went definitely over an hour. I've just I was editing it last night. But um, yeah, I just thought I would quickly, because it's been so full on this morning, it's already lunchtime, and um, I just thought I'd quickly run over so far what Alistair has got. We've had a couple of posts, like um, birthday presents in the post as well. Um, and because I haven't done a, like a birthday video this year, um, a lot of people have asked me what he actually got for his birthday. So again, I'll try and leave everything linked. It may be in the Amazon, in my Amazon shop as well. But yeah, I'll quickly run over. <laughs> He's a lucky boy. I'll show you these balloons. Graham had these delivered at eight o'clock this morning. They were made just locally. How cool are they? And then obviously you saw these last night. So I did the I know what I balloon. Got. What did you get? Um, I got him this Fortnite like figurine station thingy. It's called the Fortnite Squad versus Squad. It's on my Amazon shop, but it had really good reviews and it comes with all the figurines and all their different weapons and things. So it's been fun building that and obviously it's one they can play with. He got this slam dunk, which comes with, I don't know where the balls have gone, but comes with some pump up balls. So this was actually from eBay, £5.99. Absolutely, that's one thing they've been playing with a lot of. Um, one of the Fortnite Nerf guns with the bullets. Um, he got a 
new light, um, light clock which lights up. Uh, a couple of figurines, these were a gift. Uh, there's another one as well that goes with that and he also got this very cool jellyfish light up thing from his nana. He got a laptop which is his main present, the HP, I'll leave it linked. But it's navy blue with the, we bought the sleeve as well to keep it, I just really put stickers on it. Um, yeah. He also got that figurine. He got some pyjamas. Trying to think where, what else he got. He's got, a, oh, he got like um, a Fortnite sort of V-Bucks pack. Um, anyway, I'll try and leave everything linked if you're interested. But yeah, thanks obviously for watching. Really appreciate your comments and I hope you have a great week. We have some amazing weather again for another week, which is so good, especially because obviously we're in lockdown. We're having a little barbecue for lunch today, party food for dinner. And yeah, just gonna enjoy, in, in, enjoy the weather, enjoy each other's company. We're gonna have a water fight as well. I've got these, um, these really cool, these have been out years, but they're really good. These water balloons, so you, you put the hose, you attach the hose to it and it fills up all the water balloons. They're already kind of tied and ready to go. So I've got a few packs of those. Um, again, I'll leave them linked. But um, yeah, I hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching and I will see you all soon. Oh, and I just quickly wanted to say, sorry about my emotionalness yesterday. Sometimes I think things just get on top of me and sometimes it's hard to like kind of voice them to anybody if that makes sense so this is kind of like my little breathing space sometimes especially when I'm feeling really kind of overwhelmed and it all just bottles up and it just blurts out but it, it did make me feel good when I just you know even just talk to the camera about it it's very strange but it, it kind of helps but yeah I'm feeling so much happier and better it's just one of those things some things just get on top of you and you know in this situation at the moment I need to kind of remember what's important is just keeping everyone healthy and safe and keeping everybody alive and well and it's not the schoolwork that can wait you know so um yeah I just wanted to say I'm sorry about my little my little outburst yesterday